on your video. Ah! Oh my god, my brush got stuck in my earring. I just wanted to do another few days in my life. We have an exciting weekend coming up. Max and I got a little place in Joshua Tree. We just really feel, and I feel like everyone who lives in a big city gets this, that living in a big city is amazing. It's, it's fun, there's always people around, there's so much to do, but sometimes it just gets a little crazy and going out of the city is one of the best things to do. We absolutely love the desert. Growing up, obviously, there is no desert around in the Netherlands and I just love being in nature. There's like nothing there and that's why it's so like calming. And I especially love the nights there because you can see all the stars and like the sunsets are incredible. So yeah, we've been like going out to Joshua Tree a lot during COVID and I feel like since then, it's kind of where the idea grew where we're like, wow, it would be so amazing to have a place here to go to Katsu, make a little wellness sanctuary. That was my plan. But yeah, that was kind of the idea. A couple months ago, we found a place a friend of ours recommended and we're like, oh my God, this is it. And we've been kind of doing some like renovations there and it's kind of done-ish Max is there today and I'm going tomorrow after my hair appointment <laughs> very important he was like can you come with me to the desert I was like I'm so sorry this hair appointment has been booked for like weeks and you guys know that when you have a hair appointment that is very important and you can't reschedule that so he is already there and I am going tomorrow alrighty mm. I used to have an aura ring on during my wedding this summer and it just got lost somewhere in Italy. Might be with the donkeys or on our wedding venue. So I just ordered a new aura ring and I think it just arrived. This is the aura ring and it can basically track all your data. It can track my sleep and my rest and all of that. And it's just like really amazing to know like what type of like habits or lifestyle changes you do and that it affects pat on sleep and i think you can also do like cycle syncing now with it which is pretty cool it's also really aesthetic so i'm so happy i got my aura ring back let's go for a little walk katsu hi buddy you want to go out yes Here, Katsu always likes to take himself out in the circus. There you go. Bye. Go walk yourself. <laughs> Bye. Okay, I'm gonna show you how he's trained. Katsu down. Stay. Stay. Katsu stay. Stay. Let's go! He is so freaking cute. I'm just taking him to the park quickly. Here you go. Good morning. It is 8 a.m. I left home at like 7.15 this morning because I'm gonna go to the hairdresser. My hair has been growing so much. It's definitely become so much fuller. I definitely think because I'm taking Nutrafol, it's like the hair supplement. However, though, it is really dry and really dead right now because I have not been taking care of it properly. I always feel also when I travel and stuff. For today, I want to do something a little different. I think I'm going to cut it shorter and I think I'm going to go darker. I don't know why. I. It's fall. It's just the feminine urge to change up your hair. Let's go inside. She is a brunette. I absolutely love it. This is probably the darkest I have ever been. Um, I also cut it a little shorter, put a little layers in there, a little curtain bang. I Love it. So far. Alright my friends, I've literally been in the car for the last four and a half 
half hours. There's been so much traffic. I feel this is always the downside on LA. We're almost there. It's gonna be dark as soon as I arrive, so I'm probably not gonna be able to show that much. But as soon as I wake up, obviously, I'm so excited to see it. Guys, it is literally 7.30 right now and I just arrived right here. Hello! Hi, Katsu! Hi! Welcome home! Let's, Let's go! Let's go! Good morning! Happy Thanksgiving! It's kind of really nice to just be here. This is our little Joshua retreat. There's literally stuff everywhere and there's also so much stuff that we still do not have yet. But I can give you guys a little bit of a tour. It is really messy. This is the bathroom right here. And then over here is the living room. I absolutely love all these beams. We didn't touch them at all and they look stunning. This is the kitchen. It's really messy. The view here is honestly the best freaking part. I mean... I love it. It is so peaceful though. Yeah, I sleep so well here because it is so quiet and I just immediately notice what it does to my nervous system. I sometimes do not realize in LA how much sound there is, noise, people yelling, honking, I mean, all the city vibes. And here, immediately, my whole body is just like sad. We're gonna unbox this. I've been kind of online shopping in the last few weeks. So it's always a little bit tricky, you know, especially with furniture. Sometimes I feel the same with clothes. Like you want to see the materials and fabrics and the wood finishes and stuff. But I got some amazing chairs from Rogue Concept. I absolutely love that furniture store and they have these amazing like wood chain chairs. I feel it's a very safe option, but I think they're going to look amazing. I think these are so pretty. It has like a wood finish. I feel that's very much a vibe. Hey, desert dog. Oh my God, I am dying. He came up to me running and I was like, what is on his leash, this black thing? <laughs> Max put an air tag on it. So if he's like running around the property, let's say he escapes or whatever, we will be able to track him down and find him. You're loving the desert, right? Yeah. This is Katsu's happy face. <laughs> it is noon and we still haven't had any food yet. We were not really prepared because obviously it's Thanksgiving, most of the stuff is closed today. But I stopped by the store yesterday on the way after my during my six hour drive and I literally went in the store to pee and I just grabbed some like eggs and bread and bread and some eggs so this is gonna be food for today having zero tools in the house. I don't even have a plate, so we just use a bowl. I have a little toast, avocado toast, some salad, and then here are the other avocado toast, but it doesn't fit in there, so this is lunch. One of 
the biggest things I learned at the Tony Robbins event like seminar was really the power of changing your state, your physical state and the way you're feeling and the way you're approaching your day. So through the seminar, there was obviously a DJ and we had to like jump around and like move our body and whatever. And I am telling you, if you do this even for two minutes, immediately, your whole body is just like ready to go. You're in a different mindset. I think that is just so incredible. I need to do the kitchen. <laughs> I'm gonna give you guys a quick little tour right here because it's very dirty. Here is gonna be our coffee and matcha station. I've been unpacking some of the wedding gifts because obviously for a regular home, we already had a lot of things. So this is, for example, a thing that we got from one of our friends. And I don't know, it's something really special. Like and right now when I look at it, I'm like immediately thinking about that friend. So it's really nice to like unwrap some of the gifts and like place them in their home, you know? I'm gonna get cleaning. Max is out for a little matcha meeting. I love how he always gets very busy when stuff needs to get done. <laughs> no, I'm joking. He actually, uh, I ordered a bunch of Amazon cabinets and they were horrible quality, so we had to return them, but they were huge, so he actually, he went to do that, so it's fair. Let's go cleaning. Husband material. Thank you. So good morning. Guys. Oh god, it feels so good. We have a home. Last night we both slept so well because it's so silent here and it just feels <laughs> well not right now. We've come a really far away yesterday with prepping everything. It's our neighbor. <laughs> Colin. Neighbor, Colin? Yeah. It's such a community here, it's crazy. Oh, cool. Hi Dory, good morning. Fridge needs to go with the air. Oh, that's right. Yeah, last time. I don't think we met formally. Oh, that's right. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's right. Yeah grab some lunch with friends and I was like I need to get out of my pajamas and out of my just loungewear because uh, we've been building shit in the last few days so I just put like a quick outfit on because it's so dry my lips are chapping I really like this one the rope lipstick okay this is a linen shirt from Helsa I am obsessed with her style I'm obsessed with all the pieces she makes it's like very thick and high quality this is a vintage belt I got on a little market somewhere and then I'm wearing these Kate jeans that are literally my favorite jeans in the entire world. Matcha time. Cheers, everybody. Perfect. All right, we had a fun little afternoon and we actually just packed up. We're gonna head back to LA. So we just have a full Sunday over there and kind of get ready for the week because this week has been very busy. I'm gonna go to bed. Back to LA yesterday. Normally on Mondays we 
work from home. We're normally with three people here. So it's Sophie, Abby, my assistant and me. But today I just felt coming here, especially if I'm alone, like I can really think and like focus. Also, it's much more quiet here because around our place they're doing so much construction it's actually becoming unbearable like i can't even film i can't even be on call and here it's definitely much quieter so that always helps i'm making myself a little macho the best way to start today also i used some pea milk I found this in Amsterdam and I absolutely love it. It does contain seed oils, but it is way less sugary, way less sugars than oat milk. And I actually got it on Amazon and I cannot find pea milk anywhere else, which is very bizarre. Yeah, I'm just gonna scoop some up right here. To finish up our chatty vlog today, I'm gonna get into some Zoom calls, plan out some content, and then this afternoon, I'm gonna prep some workouts, get some new exercises and things like that. I feel like really excited about the upcoming two months. Obviously right now the holidays will definitely slow down a bit. Like I feel everyone is gonna be spending time at home with family and things like that. I guess January is gonna be or like really big month because so many people obviously start in January their new year's resolutions and they wanna get into like a healthy lifestyle and all of that. So we have definitely some amazing things coming out like our 30 day beginner program and then we're gonna do another challenge and meal plan which is gonna be really nice after the holidays so you know exactly how to kind of get back into it there's something else i wanted to chat about and i wasn't really sure on like how i absolutely love soul sync body i love the community I love everyone who's part of it how everyone supports each other shows up for themselves but i have also been craving something more of like a personal touch if that makes sense so i'm looking for a very small group of people who is super committed to making big changes into their lives and really want to show up for themselves and also almost on like a three-month program if this is something you might be interested in then send me a dm and we can chat about it it will be part of the soul sync body program but a little bit slightly different more personalized Anyway, my camera is about to die. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I'm gonna do a big Joshua Tree home tour very soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you.